We're out at the Columbia River and gonna catch a few crab and make some of the best crab cakes ever. Every time that I recast, I add a little bit more bait. Even if my uh, snare is already full, I always add a fresh piece of bait each time it goes back out. And today we've got a bunch of squid that we caught up in Point Defiance. The crab loves squid. <laughs> too small to keep but I thought he was pretty cool because he's got muscles growing in between his legs. <laughs> Ended up with six really nice Dungeness crab today. Normally we boil our crab whole but today we're cracking them in half first and then boiling them for two reasons. First, because you can fit more crab in a smaller pot of water to boil them and the second is because while the Columbia River is still open for crabbing, it has safe levels of domoic acid. The rest of the coast has tested at unsafe levels, and so crabbing is closed everywhere else. And so out of an abundance of caution, I removed the viscera because when you boil them whole, they're boiling in their guts, and that is where a higher level of domoic acid is contained in Dungeness crab. But these crab came from the Columbia, just to be clear, and WDFW and Department of Health have said that their testing uh, found safe levels of domoic acid in this area. But always check, check their websites for up-to-date information. So now that we've boiled our crab, we're going to make some of the best crab cakes ever. Like seriously, the best crab cakes. So I've got about 16 ounces of crab meat. This is fresh Dungeness crab we just caught off the jetty. And this was about two crab worth. I'm using the leg and the lump meat. But if you have to buy it from the store, I guess just 16 ounces. And then I'm going to use a tablespoon of diced green onion. I've got a quarter teaspoon each of Old Bay, ground mustard and cayenne, one egg. I'm going to use one cup of crushed Ritz crackers or any buttery type crackers. I've got panko to uh, put on the outside of the crab cakes to make them nice and crispy. And then I've got mayo. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. And then I use a teaspoon of orange juice plus some orange zest. Some people, well, most people <laughs> use lemon, but I like orange. I think it gives it something special. Uh, so. Let's make them. 
We need one egg. We need about a tablespoon of minced green onion. About a tablespoon of mayonnaise. One quarter teaspoon each of Old Bay, ground mustard, and cayenne powder. Give this a little mix. I almost forgot the orange juice. And zest. <laughs> Remember, just a teaspoon of the orange or lemon juice. Just a little bit. So I like to mix my crab meat up with a hand mixer to make it all light and fluffy. A lot of people just put it in as big chunks and that's totally fine too. My preference is to have it really light and fluffy. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm going to add in my egg mixture to my crab and then I'm going to add in my one cup of crushed crackers. And we're just going to gently mix this all together. One of the reasons this crab cake is so good is because there's such a high ratio of crab in it. I mean, this is mostly crab with very little filler. Now we're going to chill our crab cake mix in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour. This will help it to hold together once we shape it into the crab cakes. This recipe makes about eight nice sized crab cakes. So we're just gonna shape them up. and coat it in the panko breadcrumbs. Add a little bit of butter to your pan and we'll fry them for maybe four, maybe five minutes on each side on medium heat. <laughs> 